Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. I'm back with Cancer's reading from the middle of November to the middle of December. So if you have any Cancer placements in your chart, this reading is for you, okay? Um, happy birthday to Sagittarius and Scorpio. Well, Scorpio's been having birthdays, but Sag we're, we're moving into Sagittarius pretty soon. So, um... If there's a cross watcher, someone who stops into this video, maybe there is a message here because I do pull out a lot of Oracle cards. Okay, so I'm just, uh, I had put a little bit of um, Palo here just to clear up the energy. Okay, um, and I'm also going to do a little bit of Love Vibration 528HZ. Cancer and all the other zodiac signs. Beautiful. All right, Cancer, let's begin with your reading. So, just like Gemini, the same card came out for you, and I was asking Spirit, is this the card that I should use for your general energy for the month of November through December? And I got a yes. Okay, so your general energy is the Hermit. Okay. And as you can see, the hermit is going back within yourself, opening up your intuition and getting guidance from the universe, getting guidance from God, getting guidance from the spirit, getting guidance from your own, your own spiritual aspect. Okay. Um, blocking any other interferences from other people and really going into your own intuition because you know, when we're children, we're listening to everyone's advice, and that's fine because we still don't know ourselves very well. But when we grow up and we become grown-ups and we want to let go of certain situations and we really want to understand ourselves, we really need to hone in into our intuition and what it is that our heart and what God, what universe is trying to make us aware of, okay? in order to open up abundance in every aspect of your life, okay? So this is what I'm getting. This is the messages I'm getting with this card. You needing to go back within yourself and really um, focusing on your, in your own intuition, listening to your own little voice and messages, especially when it comes from the heart, okay? Because the heart is trying to open you up. All right, and God and God and spirit and the angels are trying to guide you, okay? But you need to have your intuition open in order for that guidance to be received, okay? So you're going to be going into the hermit message, I mean the hermit mode. And what you see here is there's night. There's something that's not totally clear. There's an angel holding a light and he's like having his hand down like, hey, I'm here for you, you know? Listen up. I have something to tell you, okay? You need to open up your intuition. And at the same time, there's a fire there. Fire is energy. And once you open up that intuition, you start bringing in positive energy with movement and flow, allowing abundance to come in, okay? And it says here, time spent in peaceful meditation and meaningful solitude. Shine your light as an example to others. Seek out or become a spiritual mentor. Self-discovery. For me, what this card is telling me is once you open up your intuition, you open up your, your, your gifts, what you have coming to you, your abundance. You open up realizing what it is that you want, you know, what it is that you want without getting all the chatter from people around you, okay? So this is the type of energy you will be in. Uh, from November through December, okay? Um, after that, I get the moon in reverse, okay? And meaning like you know things, you see things, you're being shown things, but you're not really opening up to it, okay? Um, it's a reverse because there is nothing hidden from you. Everything is being shown to you. You're seeing it clearly with your eyes. The only thing is that you're not listening with your intuition on the steps to take forward, okay? And this card, um, what it means is in the upright, it says, listen to your intuition. Pay attention to signs from the divine. Unnecessary worry. Let go of your fears. Revelations that will make everything clear. So in the reverse, it's almost like you're not seeing things clearly. You really need to go back into your intuition. You are getting messages and things are being brought to you, but you're not really um, using your intuition to guide you with what 
what with what universe is showing you. So you really need to go into your intuition, really connect to universe and see clearly what you're missing. I guess you're not opening that part of you that needs to um, really be open so that you could get the guidance necessary to see things clearly and to make the right decisions without having all the clutter around you, okay? Then we get the, um, I don't know, is this, this is ego. Ego. So this is almost like the four of wands, okay? And I see a sword breaking a female free, right? And then the sign of Capricorn here. So I'm not sure if you're associated with someone who's a Capricorn, but I feel like what it's trying to tell me is let go of your ego in regards to the situation, okay? Or in regards to what's coming in. Once you use your intuition and you open your heart and you let go of ego, you're going to see what choices you have to make in regards to a situation that you've been focused on, if that's the case, okay? Or... um a partnership it could be a partnership a situation it could be another person it could be a relationship that no longer exists because I see chains that are broken here okay so broken chains mean something that doesn't no longer exist but you need to let go of your ego in order for it to to understand it okay and to really gain a perspective and use your intuition okay because it seems like somehow um that's why it's in the reverse. If it was upright, it's like ego. It says in the upright, the illusion of being trapped, okay? Accept responsibility for your situation, okay? You know you're not trapped. Once you let go of that ego, you're not trapped, okay? You're not trapped. You just need to use your intuition, okay? You're not trapped into a situation. Um, you just need to make the right choices. You need to open up to your intuition, and you need to let go of unhealthy habits and addictions also, okay? So if there's something unhealthy habits or something that keeps you locked up and not seeing things right or not getting to your intuition and really um, connecting to universe and spirit to bring in more abundance, to bring in that balance you're looking for in a situation, um, if you don't open up to your intuition, that's... Those are certain blockages that are going to occur, okay? So really opening up to your intuition, letting go of ego. Don't hold on to ego about anything. Even a past situation, present situation, whatever is going on, you need to get out of your ego mode. And that's feeling like you're always right or feeling that you know it all or feeling that I'm going to be mean and ruthless with this person. No, you need to let go of that. That doesn't work, work well with spirit, especially if they're trying to open you up your heart. When we come from ego, we don't see all sides of the story. We only see our own side of the story. So letting go of ego is very important in this situation, okay? Then it says, uh, um, then you have the Ace of Swords in reverse, okay? So Ace of Swords in reverse is just telling me that the information that you're looking for, whatever, else, whatever it is that you need, um, you're not seeing it. It's not being brought to light because you're not coming from intuition, okay? You're not letting divine guidance take in and opening up your heart so you can see things clearly, okay? You need to let go of ego in order for those situations and things to be rectified, okay? And whatever you're waiting for is probably not happening right now until you work more into your intuition and you work more in letting go of ego and feeling pride about doing a certain step or making a certain choice, okay? So in the upright, it says brilliant ideas that may need refinement, overcoming obstacles with faith that everything will work out so this is like if it's in the reverse maybe you're not having faith that things are going to work out maybe you're not coming from that intuitive part of yourself you're still stuck in your ego you need to get out of there right listen to your heart it's going to show you the way it's going to show you the path okay and it says um communicate clearly and concisely you're not communicating because this card is in the reverse so needing more communication and needing to be balanced okay um then we have um the knight of uh, swords in reverse so you're not really you know you're not focused you're not letting it take a lot of your mind but you need to let go of the ego so this is in the reverse you're not letting it you're not having sleepless nights because of the situation or this thing. You're not. But you need to open up your intuition so you can understand it is what I'm getting here, okay? In the upright, this is unfounded fear, um, expecting the worst, thus creating self-fulfilling prophecies, allowing worry to grow out of um, proportion 
to the situation. Sleepless nights, refocus your thoughts. Okay, so here, you're not really in your thoughts, but you need to open up your intuition, okay? You're not really in your thoughts and you're not seeing things clearly yet, okay? Because your intuition is not open, all right? Then we have the Five of Wands. And the Five of Wands is uh, fire energy. And what it's saying here is conflicts with others caused by opposing opinion. Walk away from drama unless the situation is really worth your time. Then stand up for yourself. Very ambitious people. So you're probably dealing with people who have a lot to say to you in regards to a situation, person, or thing. Uh, a lot of people telling you what to do with your life. And that's when you need to open up your intuition and let go of your ego. Go into yourself and decide what's right for you versus what's right for everyone else, okay? Because you need to focus on yourself. You need to build that connection with spirit. You need to open up your intuition to make the right choices. And you cannot be listening to the bickering and, and comments of everyone. You got to let all that, close your ears to it, open up your heart, and listen to your own intuition, okay? That's where you got to go into the hermit mode, all right? And then you have the Eight of Pentacles. And the Eight of Pentacles, I feel what Spirit is telling me, is now working on yourself, working on your intuition, working on opening up your heart and listening to what your heart desires and wants instead of listening to the world around you, okay? And it says, learning all you can about a subject or a career, going back to school, taking a seminar or finding a mentor, attention to detail, skilled work that you love, okay? So building on something, working on something. And I feel that that building has to do with you building your intuition and working on yourself, okay? So that's the overall energy for you for the month of November through um, December. It's really going back into hermit mode, opening up your heart, listening to your, intuitioning and, to your intuition and getting rid of all the clutter and what everyone has to say. But listen to your own heart. That's important, okay? Um, the three oracles you cards you got is stillness stillness means going back within connecting to spirit opening up your heart look the heart area there's three orbs and there's a triangle there's earth there's light all around okay and there's energy moving up and down this person okay and really being connected to spirit and your heart to know the decisions you're going to make i'm going to read what stillness means for you okay very quickly stillness be still observe the forms passing through you as a tree observes birds flying about its branches thoughts emotions beliefs may alight for a time but will inevitably fly away you remain so whatever noise or clutter you hear it's gonna go away and you're gonna learn to balance yourself your emotions your intuition so that you can Really get what it is that you want out of life and open up abundance in every area, okay? Um, then we have um, trust the universe. This is a beautiful card. Look at that swirl of energy coming down from spirit, from God, and trying to grab your attention. Trust in the universe. Open up your intuition. Open up what you feel inside and realize that what you're feeling needs to be made aware brought into awareness so you don't have any blockages if you block your emotions your heart you're blocking other areas of your life okay so open up your intuition your heart and your connection to spirit all right and last but not least we have acolyte is a crystal focus on this crystal let it fill you up with energy and it says stay positive at all times remain positive no matter what's going on in your life okay or in your situation and stay positive that your intuition and your guidance will give you all the answers you need once you open up your heart and your intuition <laughs> okay love and light to you all may you have a wonderful thanksgiving thanks for listening these are your messages cancer for november through december bye